When SpaceX started building the Boca Chica launch site back in 2019 and really started building Starship prototypes and testing started in earnest with the first flight of the Starhopper test vehicle, I was already back then thinking, how long will it be until China will copy the Starship? Because as the years went by and we saw more and more Starship tests and it became more obvious that indeed the Starship and Super Heavy system will work, it was clear that it was just a matter of time until we would see a one-to-one -one copy of Starship from China. And lo and behold, indeed it didn't take long until the first videos showing animations of a Chinese Starship version were to be found. And of course it didn't take long until we would see the first official slides detailing the plans of the Chinese space program where suddenly Starship-like rockets would slowly appear. Until then at some point, a year later or so, they really started looking like one-to-one -one copies of the SpaceX Starship. So how long will it most likely be until China will be able to make their own copies of Starship? China's Super Heavy Lift rocket is called the Long March 9 and its design was first unveiled as early as 2009. Back then it was still designed to be a non-reusable, meaning a fully expendable classic rocket, kind of resembling the SLS or maybe even the older NASA designs of the Ares 5 rocket from the old Constellation program which was discontinued in 2010. This first version of the Long March 9 would have had a payload capacity of at least 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit. Then, for a long time, there was not a lot going on with the Long March 9 rocket. We just saw some brief animations here or there. The use of this rocket is of course launching heavy payloads to the moon. So the goal will be to use the Long March 9 in order to build inhabited moon bases and later possibly even send people to Mars. It was then in June of 2021 that we would see another iteration of the Long March 9 in a presentation by the state-owned China Aerospace and Technology Corporation, CASC in short. Now suddenly the rocket didn't have any side boosters anymore like NASA Space Launch System, but it suddenly had become one single body design. The capacity to low Earth orbit was now given at 150 metric tons, which is quite impressive considering that this is about 40% more than the Saturn V rocket had. But the design iterations went on. In 2022 then, we would see a slide on which the Long March 9 now suddenly had a unibody design and the second stage had exactly the same width as the first stage which was not yet the case in the previous design iteration. In 2023 then, a first model of the by now partially reusable Long March 9 was shown and by that point it also had grid fins, similar to the ones on the SpaceX Super Heavy booster. And then finally in April of 2023, CASC showed this slide here, where the transformation to an almost perfect one-to-one -one Starship clone had been completed. Now the diameter was given with 10.6 meters, which is 1.6 meters wider than Starship and the height was given with 114 meters. The payload capacity to orbit was still at 150 metric tons in expendable configuration and 50 metric tons in reusable configuration, which is less than what the SpaceX Starship Super Heavy will be capable of. Of course, the engines were also copied from SpaceX, where this thing would be powered by Chinese analogs of the Raptor engine, burning liquid methane and oxygen, very much the same as in the Starship. It would be powered by 30 of these engines on the first stage, just three less than the Super Heavy. Okay, so far so good. So how long then, realistically, until China will be able to copy the SpaceX Starship? Will China already have a working Starship clone by 2030? Will they be able to beat SpaceX at their own game and overtake SpaceX in just a few years? After all, we are talking about an entire state here, about the second largest economy in the world. So if they would pour in their entire willpower and their entire funds into copying Starship as fast as possible, then how fast could they do it? Well, first of all, we do actually have some semi-official timelines. 
The first launch of the Chinese Starship is currently planned for 2033, but at first in an expendable configuration, meaning the whole rocket is thrown away after each launch. In the late 2030s then, the partially reusable version is said to be launched for the first time, while full reusability is scheduled no earlier than the 2040s. So even they themselves admit that in order to copy Starship in a way that it is able to fly in a reusable configuration reliably will take quite some time. But let's say that these official timelines are fake and that China wants to pull it off much sooner. How fast could they do it? Well, in order to assess that, we just have to look at how their other efforts at copying SpaceX are going. There are several space companies in China that are trying to build reusable rockets. For instance, there is the state-owned Shanghai Academy of Spaceflight Technology SAST, and they have recently launched a 3.8 meter diameter test rocket on June 23rd, which was able to fly as high as 10 kilometers and even land back on the launch pad. There are quite a few more state-owned and non-state-owned Chinese space companies that try to build some variations of reusable rockets, which all look very similar to SpaceX Falcon designs. And when we look at where they currently stand, I would say we can compare this roughly to where SpaceX was back in 2012 with their Grasshopper, which was the prototype for vertical takeoff and landing demonstration flights that were key for the Falcon 9. And several Chinese test launches have actually failed quite recently. The Chinese company Space Pioneer, for instance, tried to have a static fire test with their Tianlong 3 first stage on June 30th. But the hold down clamps accidentally got loose and the rocket just flew high up into the air before exploding back onto the ground. Luckily, nobody was harmed. Then another company called iSpace failed on July 11th with a test flight of their Hyperbola 1 rocket. So we see it's not so easy to copy SpaceX and most Chinese space companies are now about where SpaceX was from around 2010 to maybe 2012. Not a single one of those companies, not even the state-owned ones, have managed to launch a successful reusable rocket to low Earth orbit and to recapture the first stage. This is, by the way, something that SpaceX has already achieved now almost a decade ago in 2015. So China is lagging behind SpaceX by about 12 to 14 years. Thus, a first launch of the Chinese Starship copy, even in expendable configuration by 2033, seems very optimistic. It might actually be the late 2030s until China has managed to build a very well-functioning Starship copy. So that, in my opinion, shows just how far ahead SpaceX is compared to the competition and even compared to entire nations. Entire countries aren't even able to replicate SpaceX's success even years later. Massive respect for SpaceX and their incredible Starship system. So I think it will be still quite a while until we can see a Chinese Starship bring Taikonauts to the moon. I would say realistically, at least 20 years. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe because we will continue putting out lots of videos on fascinating topics ranging from human spaceflight to other interesting technological developments. And please consider supporting us on Patreon because that will allow us to put out even more and better videos. Thank you so much in advance. Thanks for watching. Have a great day wherever you are and see you next time.